Right team, we're reviewing the chase range for 2022. It's the bat range, we're looking forward to this. We've got Rich, we've got Neil. Let's have a look at the bats. Okay team, I'm getting very excited by this because it's not often I get the chance to go platinum. <gasps> well now I do. So let's have a little look. Our platinum bat, our platinum bat. Oh, even the name sounds exciting, doesn't it? Well, you've got with Chase fantastic stickering. Um, the texturing on the stickers is really good. It just shows really high quality, um, but oh, I can't get away from those grains. I'm sorry team, it's, it, we're all on looks, aren't we? They look beautiful. Okay, slide you around the side. Small chase stickering up the side, up the back. We're gonna see something quite consistent with chase as well, all the way through. It is gray, or platinum, I guess, as they'd show you, I'll tell you. Little emblem down the bottom. Little toe guard, slightly different shape down the bottom. And our grey grip. So there we go. That's our little look from above and around and the sides. Neil, talk me through the technical specs. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this one. Um, as you mentioned, we mentioned already about the grains. We're going to come back to that in a second. Um, Profile-wise, in the platinum bat, you've got a, a nice high spine, as you as you would expect. Yeah. Um, it's not cut away too much, and it's extended all the way down the bottom of the bat. So even into the toe, there's still a bit of wood there. Um, really big, nice, thick, chunky edges and lots of wood behind the ball throughout the whole hitting whole zone. zone. Yeah, yeah. I think, think Chase, Chase would say that uh, in the platinum range, about a 10 inch hitting zone that you've got is your sort of premium sweet spot. And it sort of shows it too, doesn't it? Because it goes all the way across the, the it, bat face. It, it, it does show it too. What does it sound like? Well, I'm hoping this sounds good it's because got to, isn't looks it? wise, it is, yeah. it is sensational. Um, grains wise, the platinum bat, you would expect to see a minimum of 12 grains. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot. The reason it's a lot, it's a so, uh, softer piece of willow, yeah. so it has more grains. Performance should be exceptional, more grains in the willow, yeah. slightly softer to performance, so the ball comes out of the bat a bit quicker. Um, only 1% of their bat range is made in the platinum range, so they do really reserve this to the, the top, end. To the top, very, top, very top very end, top and it, it does look Superb. Oh, so, it does, doesn't it? Let's try with a bat mallet. Um, very springy in the sweet spot, <laughs> as you would you would sort of hope and expect. Yep. Um, I'd say that's that hitting zone there for me was probably middle to slightly lower uh, in the bat there. So um, it's going to be really good in terms of hitting off the front foot. To be honest, it's going to be amazing. Be for, yeah, uh, for everybody, isn't it? With the that amount of grain in and straight out, it's going to be really good. Yeah. Um, performance wise, should be fantastic. Um, moving back up the bat, um, it's their pro grip, which is which actually stand in their, in their range. Of all that, this feels like it's got a slightly thinner handle yeah. uh, to some of the others, but don't be put off by that. You can always, put, if you wanted to make the grip any bigger, you can always put probably a chevron grip underneath yeah. this one. Yeah. Keep it nice and simple. Um, weight range, this one, uh, platinum comes in between £2.7 and £2.11 ounces. Yeah. And obviously we're only talking about top end premium willow. So this is top of the shop, it's as good as it's going to get. Um, looks fantastic. It does. I think the only thing for it is we, we, we're going to have to go and have a hit with it. Cool, let's go. Right then Rich, let's go with the platinum. Yeah. One thing I've just noticed though, before I've even hit a ball, Got a slightly angled toe on it, yep. which actually is, is is really nice. What it what it does when the bat's stood on the ground in the sort of vertical position, you can actually see underneath there's a slight gap between the bat uh, and the floor. Yeah. Whereas actually, the reason they've done that is when I'm in my stance and I'm actually bat tapping, which everybody does. Yeah. It means the bat's then flush against the ground. It's not going to cause any sort of feathering of the toe. Good to go. So, I think I'm, I think I'm ready. I've just got to try and hit a few now. Nicely played. Ooh. 
He's asked, all right. he's asked a bit much of you. Yes, you have a go. Come on then. Here you get on. So what are your initial thoughts? Well, I think it's worth saying at, at this point, it's all about the balance and the weight of the bat. We're not testing for performance, we're testing really for how it, how it, how it feels, balance-wise. Nice. Yeah, it's a nice balance to it. Picks up nicely. Oh, oh yeah. I'd nice. to get on the back foot. But yeah, I quite like that. I quite like that shape, I quite like that feel. Yep. A little bit more wood down the bottom for me, and I think the lighter handle, sorry, the thinner handle offsets that. Yep. Um, you can't go wrong with the wood. I think for me, I mean, this this is a no-brainer if you can find that that grain in the right in the right pickup for you. Yeah. Um, for for me, if I walked into a store or saw that one, ordered it in the weight range for me, two eight two nine, probably two nine. You, you can't look past the grain. I mean, the pickup the pickups the pickups good, but yeah. the grain is sensational. Yeah. And you're buying the bat purely on that because yeah. that is lovely. Well, Neil's gone yes, but secretly, chaps and chapesses, I'm thinking that's a maybe. I like it. I think the grain and the wood looks absolutely stunning. But in terms of balance, do you know, I'm, I could be tempted by others. Now, we're going a little Irish here because we're going for the four-leaf clover. I'm going to stop there because you're going to shoot me for carrying on. But anyway, four-leaf clover. Used to be top of the shop, I think, until the platinum came in. So let's see what happens. We're dressed in white. An evening occasion, as they say. Again, you'll see quite a standard stickering on the, the chase range. Uh, this time around, we are very much in white, all the way down the front. Lovely little, I've got to show you that, isn't that cool? United, yeah, UK, Union Jack, isn't it? Fantastic, nice little positioning. Shall in the clover. In the clover, yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it? Clever. All the way around, little stickering around the sides. Uniform stickering on the back. Again, really good quality stickering from Chase. Again, to finish on the side. Do we have a toe guard? Yes, we do. And back up to the top with our white grip. Neil, let's talk us through this one. Okay. Um, from a profile point of view, we can see in the back of the bat, Spine in, spine's coming through nice and high here. Actually dips down towards the back end of the toe. So uh, we lose a little bit of willow down towards the end there. So the, the toe's gonna be a little bit thinner. Reason for that is they can get a little bit more weight, a little bit more wood back so further up. up. Yeah. So you're gonna get more for hitting the ball where you should be hitting the ball, ultimately. Um, we've still got some really nice sized edges, a little bit more cut away than, than um, some of the other bats in their range, but probably good all round profile. Yeah. Uh, for, for, for anybody this uh, and that's probably also because it comes in that one grade of willow which is you know, the top the end top of, end. of yeah. English willow so uh, from a profile point of view uh, I think that's going to be really well balanced um, be interested to see how it performs and you, you might be able to hear that um, but I could certainly feel it really good hitting zone Good, probably good eight inches, I would say, in terms of performance range. Um, pings out of the bat nicely. Plenty of wood just off centre still as well. Yeah, off centre. Um, so you should be getting good value for, for all your shots. Uh, the grip you mentioned, got the pro grip on there. That's standard in the chase range though, so yeah. uh, no difference uh, there. Um, toe guard, you said, is already fitted. Weight range, going to be coming anywhere between £2.7 and £2.12, you can get this in. Um, I quite like, quite like the white um, aesthetics. I think that looks quite stylish. It does, doesn't um, it? But I think all, all their bats look quite stylish. I think, all, I think it's well finished and well made. Yeah. Um, true test is probably to find out how well these pick up. Probably going to need to go and have a hit. Okay, here we go. Purely because of the balance of it. I'm just going to answer it. Oh, yeah. You have a go. I think, I think that sounds like you quite like this. You're quite. quite oh, awesome. yes, I can understand why. Straight away, I'm feeling a comfortable, easy balance. Striking through the ball. Yeah, I think so. 
doesn't us. I think it does, doesn't it? And I think you're feeling comfortable with it in your hands. Mm. You feel like if you need to attack, you could. Yeah, I, I like that shape. I, I do. I, I feel very comfortable with that. Hmm. I think I would... Um, I, I, that's, that's is, that, my, is that an early yes? That's an early yes. Go Ooh. on, I'll say it. Straight I'll, in. I'll, I'll, get out, I'll get off that fence. Straight in. I think... I think for me, the balance in this one is what makes it a sensational bat. I think it picks yeah. up really nicely. It's a good, solid profile, as we've talked about. You know it's in that top-end grade English Willow as well, so you're going to get the performance. Yeah. Uh, for me, you feel totally in control with it. It's like batting with a wand. That's what you want. Yeah. You're not thinking about, you know, is that going to affect me? You're just going to go out and bat. For me, for me, I think that could also be a yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't get this very often. <laughs> Two yeses. Be careful in the water. The sharks are about. And be careful of the fin back. Here we go. Have a little look. I suppose, really, we should go straight to it, shouldn't we? Da -da. Da -da. Please ignore me. I know most people do. OK, so we are dressed in black, which is traditional for the chase range. Um, so we're looking black all the way through. We've got a nice little red fleck in here. Slide to the side. We get our little stickering down the side. Go down the back. Again, very good, high quality stickering. Little chase emblem at the bottom. We have equally balanced stickering on side to side. This time around we don't have a tow guard. And we go in our black group. Ready for our theatre oh, of dreams. Full of dreams. <laughs> um, I think it's safe to say we've reviewed a lot of bats in 2022 and previous years. Well, yeah, we? However, this one for me is quite exciting because from a profile point of view, it's very different it is, yes. to, to lots of other of bats that we see yeah. across all manufacturers. Um, Fit, called a fin back for a reason, clearly. Uh, the spine is, um, it appears to be really high. It's probably very similar to any normal bat, but the, it's accentuated because it's really con been shaped away yeah. to give a really light pickup, mm. um, almost feather light, I would say. Now, four, five, six years ago, this was a, a common, I would say more of a common profile. Yeah. Um, why? Because it gives you a great, Hopefully, light pickup as we've talked about. Yeah. Good for younger players. Good for players just going into a short handle. Yeah. Um, you don't lose much performance. Hopefully, there will be less willow behind the ball, slightly off centre, which we'll find out in a minute. Mm. Um, but a great option if you really like that lightweight pickup. Yeah. Um, lots of manufacturers used to make bats like this. Um, Chase now are probably one of the few with such an extreme profile. But I think that really benefits them and benefits the players yes. because it gives you a really, really good light option. Still plenty of wood in the bat. Um, so you're going to get value for your shots. It's, I think it's a good design and it, it stands out a little bit from everybody else Definitely. that's on the market. So. And it's been around a, a quite a while and people like it. Yeah. Uh, I've used one and, and I think... An yeah, there you, so go. there you go. We're, we're converts already. <laughs> so, but let's see from a performance point of view. Um, and, and as we described, obviously in the hitting zone, really nice and clean, very sweet. Slightly off centre, slightly less willow behind the ball, but still enough that you're going to get yeah. value for your shots. Um, it, it is going to suit someone who, who probably likes a lighter bat, I would say. Um, a stroke maker? A stroke maker, probably yeah. not a power player. Yeah. Um, it's probably who it suits. Grip-wise, we've still got um, the pro grip, yeah. as, as we've mentioned across. Across um, the range. Across the range. Weight-wise, weight you're going to be somewhere between 2.7 and, and, and 2.11 with this one. Um, it also comes in three different types of willow, though, so you've got a, a choice depending on A, budget, and B, performance. Yeah. They're both linked. Um, Chase do it as a R11 as their top-end grade of willow, down to an R7, then down to R4. So you will find a fin back in the right price point and performance range that, that suits you. Yeah. Um, so probably enough. something in there for everyone. Definitely. But certainly those players that like a lighter bat, um, 
and maybe not your, your big hitters as such, your stroke makers. So on that right note, that must be us. It is. Let's go and have, have a hit. hit. Right then, Rich, here we go. I'm disappointed we didn't come out with our, that came out nice. our uh, Jaws theme tune. The old fin back. Feels quite good. Oh, oh he's rushed in. He's rushed in, he's yeah. rushed in again. He's trying to bounce oh, on it. Yes. Oh, get out of there, you yeah, have go. Go on then. So fin back, we genuinely we think this one's going to have really good balance and pick up. And straight away from here for me, I'm going yes, it does. Straight back at him. Oh, that's what I think. Yeah, I like the balance in that. I like the shape. I'm. I'm going to be picky and say I really like it, but could we have a little bit more wood down the bottom? But I mean, that's the only thing I'm saying there. I'm definitely going yes for shapes. I do like that. Mm. Comfy. I, I, I'm probably actually going to go no, um, and and that's nothing to do with probably the quality of this bat, but more the more the profile. Just I think I need a little bit more or slightly off centre. <laughs> just for I miss time one. Um, you know. These are great bats. They're gonna, yeah, anyone who wants a nice lightweight bat you, yeah. is going to be fine with that. But, so for me, probably I'm, I'm erring now more towards a bit more wood around the whole bat, not just in the centre. I'm not quite backing myself after that short ball from Tom. But I'm going to hit it dead centre every time. Wow. Wants a bit of help. I'm happy with it. I'm, I, I'm, I, I could be persuaded, but I think you're a yes. I'm a yes. Volante is where we're, not, where we're heading to next. We love a bit of that. Oh. Here we go, a little bit of blue this time round. Again, we can see from the chase stickering, really high quality. We can see that we are in black and that is traditional across their sort of three middle of the road ranges. Um, let's slide you around the side. Boom, stickering. And again, very traditional stickering with chase all the way down the bat and our little emblem down the bottom. We are on the side, you can trust me on that. We have no toe guard, but we do have our lovely black grip. Neil, talk us through it, Volante. Okay, um, I think the Volante in the chase range probably services most people. Uh, the profile's not as extreme as the fin back. Yeah. Um, it, you've still got a spine that comes all the way down, big thick edges, quite a, quite a lot of wood all the way through and the sort of the profile and certainly yeah. slightly lower down in, in, in this shape. Um, so it's going to suit a lot of players. Yes. Still got your thick edges as most bats do have these days. You mentioned the toe actually there, Hinders. Um, it's actually a slightly angled toe on this one, uh, which, which I certainly like. When you're tapping your bat mm. and getting ready to prepare to face bowlers, often it's that edge, and the camera can see that. It's often that edge that's on the floor, which with this, slightly angled toe, it sits flush on the floor. It's a nice touch, isn't it? It is a nice touch. It feels slightly different, but feels, I think, a lot better. I can try and zoom in a bit closer to that. That's there where it's standing vertically, but actually with, the, with that toe, when it sits there, which is where it would be against your bat, I think that I think that's a nice touch, it works well. Yeah. So those little details that Chase do really well. I um, think so, yeah. Being handmade and, and, and you know in the UK, that's, it's easier to do. Um, so from a profile point of view, we've talked about that. It'd be interesting to see what the performance is like on this one. I feel it's going to be pretty strong. Again, really good size sweet spot. Uh, the difference between this and the fin back, you've probably got a little bit more wood behind the ball if you hit it off centre. A bit more which, forgiving. A bit more it? forgiving is probably the right words. Uh, given you're not always going to strike the ball cleanly out the middle, you've got a little bit more behind it. Um, Grip-wise, we're in on standard pro grip. Again, same across the whole range. Weight-wise, anywhere between 2.7 and 2.12. Probably a little bit more wood in this one, so probably more at the sort of 2.9s to 2.10s to 2.11 range, I would, I would imagine. Willow-wise, three options. Um, you've got the R11, which is the top end of English Willow in the Volante. There's also an R7 and an R4 version. Main differences are price point, 
um, there'll be different price points and that will reflect the quality and performance in the bat with R11 being at the top, R4 being at the lower end. So a really good all round bat. If you like Chase, you're not gonna go wrong with this. If you like Chase and you're unsure which one to go for, this I think is gonna be your safe option Yeah. because I think this is gonna service uh, everyone and you'd be happy, Covers you'd be happy bases, with that. Doesn't it? Cover loads of bases. Um, How does it feel though? That's what we want to find out. Well, I think it feels quite well, but the true test, let's go and, let's go and have a hit. I think Nathan, our cameraman, is hoping this one goes well. I think <laughs> this could be his favourite. I'll try not to hit him. Having said that, you've hit those really well. Yeah, quite nice. You, you're a fan already, aren't you? Well, we'll see. Okay. Oh. You a man on. of forgiveness. Um, I like this one, it's a nice shape, uh, it's comfortable, I feel, it does feel like there is wood across the whole of the bat, which I know that seems a really stupid thing to say, or an obvious one, but it does feel like that. Um, and for me that's where I would err on a no, purely because you're, you're wanting a bit of forgiveness, I'm going, actually I really like the balance of the fin back and the FLC, so, sorry team, mm. how about you? Um, I felt it picked up really nicely. Uh, quite well balanced. It's got that balance, even though it's got a bit more wood in it uh, down there. So for me, um, I think it's a difficult one for me. I think uh, in the range, I'm not sure this is, would be my first choice. I'd be more than happy with it, though. I think we, you know, we've mentioned that earlier that yeah. out of the Chase range, if you love Chase and you love Chase as a brand, you're not going to go very wrong with the Volante because it's going to tick a lot of boxes. For me, I think if budget could afford it, I'd probably maybe move up to the FLC if I could because I felt that was just a touch more balanced for me, but not much in it. So if budget is also factor. a factor, then, then come down to this and you can, you can be absolutely fine. Yeah. I think it serves a purpose for lots of people. Sounds like one nil. We're spinning around. We're Kylie and we're caught in a vortex. But we look a little orange this time. Well, our little, our little tick or our little angle down, arrow down, maybe on the space bar, isn't it? Something like that. Anyway, we've digressed. Traditional black, little orange through there, vortex, sliding around the side to have a little look at the stickering. And again to the back, very traditional with our Chase stickers. Again, really good quality. Black all the way through. Little Chase emblem at the bottom. Having a look at the toe. Popping back up to our black grip. We like that one. Cool, right, that's a little look at them. Okay. Find out some more detail, of which there is a little bit of detail. There is some on this one. So the Vortex, designed to be, um, I guess, the bigger hitter's bat in the mm. Chase range. Uh, reason being, it's worth comparing, I think, first yeah. of all, to another bat, because the key difference in the Vortex is the blade length. Now the blade length is about 20 mil shorter than your standard blade length. The bat handles will still be the same, so slightly longer handle, shorter blade. Reason being, um, it means by losing that 20 mil of wood there, they can put, take it out of there and put it lower down, which will probably give you a bit more wood somewhere in the hitting zone to hopefully clear the ropes. Um, so clearly there have been a definite attempt to make this a real striker's bat. Someone who's going to come in, probably in the middle order, lower order, look to hit the ball hard, uh, T20 player, that type of thing. Um, from, a, from a performance point of view, um, it, it, it certainly does ping, <laughs> uh, which you'd expect given a little bit more wood situated in that blade there. A good, sweet hitting zone in and around the middle, I'd and, say. And a little off centre. Just slightly, because you've got extra wood behind the ball. Yeah. Um, so again, slightly forgiving, but, but lots of wood to go out there and, and strike it hard. L less wood in the toe, so the spine does finish and shape away. Um, so you've got slightly less in the toe, but ultimately you're not trying to hit the ball hard out of the toe no, of the bat. No. Um, so you should be okay there. Um, 
it does also have the angled toe. Uh, we mentioned we mentioned that before, but the angled toe, if a bat stood up straight, you, you'll see there's a slight gap under there, which lends itself to come in there flush uh, against the ground. So that really comes into its own when you're tapping the bat, yeah. which all batters do. Yeah, we do, um, whether here, it's behind your foot, isn't it, or in front. Whether it's a nervous tap, you're always gonna be in there, and, and that just stops the feathering in the bottom of the toe. So probably protects it a little bit longer, makes it last a little bit longer. Key thing about this is lots of wood, gonna be a hitter's bat. Yeah. Um, weight range, probably somewhere between 2.8 and 2.12. You could probably squeeze a bit more out of it depending on the pickup. Um, but we'll see, I mean. And that one only comes in an R7, isn't it? Well, that, that, that's true. So, uh, as far as Greater Willow is concerned, you're only gonna get this in the R7 range. Yeah. Um, but to be honest, that's gonna be absolutely per perfect and more than, more than suitable, more yeah. than suitable for, for all club cricketers and, and junior county players that are out there. It, it's more the difference in blade length. It alters the pickup in terms of balance. You're gonna be looking to go out and strike the ball with this, I think. Yeah. Cool. Well, might not be one for us. I don't know. Maybe not one for me, but we'll see. I think we should probably give it a test hit. it out. Let's give it a hit. Already, Richard, with that 20 mil different blade, you can feel, you can feel it in the pickup. It's slightly different to the rest in the range. Let's see how let's see how we get on hitting some balls. Just avoided the cameraman there. A bit more bottom hand, I think. Thoughts. Well, I didn't think I'd like it because it's, you know, for that big yeah. hitter, which hasn't normally been me, but... Not, not had you written down in the scorebook of that one, you, I'm not going to say anything to you, you've had a go. Oh, okay. <sighs> Straight. You can feel the longer handle. Okay. And, uh, and, yeah, that does change the balance a little bit of the bat. So this is quite an intriguing one. And I say intriguing because being six foot three, yeah. in theory, you're probably better off with a longer handled bat. True. So that actually sits quite nicely with me. But it hasn't altered the length of the bat overall, no. so. Which is kind of bizarre, but it feels like it does. And you would normally use a short handle. I would. Like would. most people, six foot three would use a short, a short handle. handle bat. Yeah. Um, and so in terms of in terms of how that feels and in terms of pickups and and feel of the bat, I say, I would say that is it's a it's a good option. In funny way, to me, it's a slightly better balance here compared to the the Volante, which is a surprise. I didn't think I would say that. Well, I'm five foot eight, so I'm smaller than you. Um, however, for me. I felt that the balance is 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 superb. I really quite like the, that 20 mil being taken out of the blade at the top, put in the bottom somewhere. Yeah. Um, and actually, you can soon get used to once you work out where your hands are on the handle, because yeah. it did feel a little bit bigger. It does yeah. Once you've got that organised, I feel I feel I'm, I feel you're going to score runs with this. Mm. I feel I might need to change my game slightly, but I've got to be honest, you get absolutely top value for your shots when you strike it with this. There's lots of wood behind the ball, so mm. for me. I'm, I'm going out on a limb now and Ooh. potentially changing my game to potentially tackle the vortex. Well, that's not bad, is it? We've got a one, and uh, do you know what? That's a maybe for me. I quite like it. I'm not against it. I quite like it. Maybe one and a half. R1. Not R2, but R1. And that's where we're going next. So, this is slightly different. Maybe an old school chased style stickering from a few years back. Um, very funky. Bit of lightning through there, I guess. R1 is telling us what it is. Chase is telling us where it comes from. Slightly different here this time round. It sort of follows that lightning strike as we go around, all the way around the back. Again, dressed in green this time. And with a small sticker there on the side. No chase emblem at the bottom. Little toe finished off. Traditional black grip. 
looks a little different, something to discuss. Okay, well I think the first point is probably you, you, you focused on the R1 there, Rich. Mm. Um, the R1 is really the grade of Willow, so this is really an entry level grade of Willow for a, for a club cricketer who's probably looking for a short handle bat but more on a budget than, than a performance yeah. level. Yeah. Um, from a profile point of view, uh, the bat itself, it, it's a tough one, this, because they could have it either way, couldn't it, they? Yeah, well, you can have it as a, as a fin back or a volante. This one we've got here, spine through the middle, more of a volante shape, probably less cut away. Yeah. It's going to nice all round bat. Um, I think what this one does uh, for anybody out there is it gives you a really good option from a high quality bat manufacturer that says, here's a bat to either get going with, or yeah. if you're not playing very often and don't want to spend loads of money, then this is a great entry level option for, for, for that cricketer. You're still going to get performance out of it. I yeah. mean, let, let's have a look, let's test it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's still going to ping. You've still got a nice sweet spot in the middle there. Bit harder yeah. in terms of willow. You can also see the giveaway to that before hitting it is also less grain in there, yeah. a few more blemishes. But that doesn't ultimately perfect, uh, uh, affect performance too much. Mm. Um, so if you're looking for something entry level wise, this is going to do the job. I would imagine that's why it's stickered slightly different as well. So it sits. Make it stand out a little bit more. Yeah, so it stand, sits outside of their key core range. Yes. Um, you know, they. they very stylish in appearance, all the, all the chase bats. Um, this is still very stylish, just very different in terms of the rest of the family yeah. um, of chase bats. But yeah, I think pretty Oops. pretty good option for, for those looking more for a bat on budget than, than on top end performance. Yeah. Well, we better have a little swing, see what it's like. See what you think. Cool. What are your thoughts? Right? I, I think it's balanced. I think it it does what it needs to do. Picks up okay. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, that's a nice balance. That's a horrible. That's, it is a horrible shot, but it was fully deserved. <laughs> that's much more like. Oh, six. There you go. Come six. Six. Bowling's Bowling really definitely it. deserved it, yeah. Again, I think I would say same as you. I think that's a, for what you're, for what you're gonna get, for the money you're gonna pay out, you're getting a really quite a decent bat for your budget. And yeah. I think, and I think that's, it picks up, it picks up really well. I think we, we've got the Volante shape here, haven't we? Rather yeah. than the, the fin back that it would also come in. Um, but for the price point, I think you, you're doing really well to get, to get a bat that's, Pretty decently finished off. Yeah, and made. Yeah, I think it it picks up absolutely fine, well rounded. Um, it wouldn't be one for me, but that's probably because I'm playing a bit more cricket and I'm batting in the top top order. Yeah. But for, for some of the guys, it, certainly at the club, who play four, five, six times a year, don't always bat high up. It's going to be perfect for them. Is, really yeah. good entry level price point. It's going to suit lots of people who are who are buying more on the budget than they are on performance. If you want performance, it's probably not for you, but that's, it does what it says on the tin. It's, yeah. it's not a performance top-end bat. If you're a top-end batter, you're gonna choose something in Greater Willow above this one. But if you're not batting very often, or you're not playing very often, but still wanna be able to rock up, turn up to nets, do a bit of training, it'd be absolutely ideal for, for the budget it's at. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Team, we've had a hit, we've had a swing. We've talked about all of them, so it's now time for us to wrap it up and review. So, where do we start? This is, it's an interesting one with the chase range, isn't it? I think you've got to start in the middle because the family of bats and the family range itself is really your fin back, your volante and your vortex. You're going to get three different things in terms of profiles from, from those bats in particular. Um, the fin back has the really high spine in the back, sharply cut away, which is going to give you your lightweight option. Yeah. You've got your Volante, um, which is more of an all-round all blade, more willow throughout. Yeah. And then you've got your Vortex, slightly shorter blade, it's more of a hitter's bat. Yeah, it's a little bit more specific, isn't it? A little bit more specific. So in terms of differing profiles, 
then in those three is where the differences are. Yeah, I think so. And obviously you've got an R, R11, R7 and R4 in the Finback and the Volante where you can go up and down your budget price points mm -hmm. accordingly, haven't you? So, and of course, yep. Vortex is just, it's just in the R7s. So I think as, like. as far as just those three bats are concerned, it's a really nice slick range. It is. Um, Chase as a manufacturer, I, I feel, make really top-end, high-quality bats. They're well made all the way through. The, the, you've mentioned the graphics, the stickers, it's all high quality. It looks really smart. I'd say it looks slick. There's no big colours and fancy things in it. It's purely a, a you know, really enjoyable, well handcrafted bat range. So, so that's your family of bats. Mm. However, we, we particularly got quite excited about this, this end, end of the table, we? didn't we? we do, yeah. This end of the table. So this so. one's a little bit unique, and unique in probably a couple of different ways. So first up, you've got the platinum. You've got 1% of willow that this gets made from. So there are not many of those around. Um, and as you can see from the grains, they are pretty special there. Um, you then, and it's got lots of all of those different touches, which I think is something that you know, handcrafted in Hampshire is and Chase is really good at, which is it's a very clean looking bat. You've got a very decent um, toe guard. You've got a slightly angled bevel bit on the toe. Um, you get high quality stickering. I like the consistent grip throughout the whole range. I think that's really decent um, and a bit of a unique selling point. So, yeah, I, th I, th I think you're right. I think Chase really believe in high quality, high end product. Mm. And for me, the, the two bats down here, your, your platinum and four leaf clover, just ooze, absolute quality, high end, stylish, uh, well made, well finished, sleek and, and, yeah. and, and, and simple, but classy. Really classy and really effective, yeah. I think. Um, your four leaf clovers, this, there are going to be many, many more of those bats around. So, you know, that's the bat you're going to be able to get hold of a little bit more often. And from what we've picked up, and you'll probably see from our reviews, we were big fans of that. We thought it was a really good bat, a really good shape, had lots and lots of the good things going for it. So hmm. I think from, from, from the range, I think that's, that's a real positive, isn't it? Hmm. Um, that's a bit unique, but you're going to get a few more of those around, so worth having a look. And then I think, I think f f finishing off the, range, the bat range, yeah. the R1 does almost stand out for slightly the wrong reasons. It, it, it certainly stickered differently. Looks different, doesn't it? It looks different. Yes, it's a chase bat, but it's, it's at that lower end that we've talked about. It's gonna be great, it's gonna hit a price point, it's gonna be good for yeah. uh, your club cricketer who doesn't play very often. It does seem to sit slightly outside that range, um, particularly when we've talked about high-end, high-quality, great good, finishing. Good finishes, yeah. and, and I think it's also worth mentioning at this point that 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 theme also runs through their socks, their pads, their gloves, yeah. um, keeping stuff really simply styled, but high quality, it looks classy, um, and complements any bat that you choose in their range. So I think as an overall offering, for me, Chase have, have, have really upped their game over the last few years. I think it, 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 it definitely improves, improves, you know, year on, year yeah, on year, yeah. really. And I think that's a very, very, excellent range that you'd be proud to have um, in our shops, in our stores, online. Yeah. Um, you'd be happy to have that at home, you'd be happy to pull that out of your bag and hopefully score some runs with. Yeah, I think so too. Cool. Team, if you enjoyed our review, please subscribe to our video channel. We are going to be sending out many, many more videos. Oh, now did I forget to ask a little question, which of course you can comment on below. The question is going to be this. We had a bit of a hit and a swing at a few. Did you like that? Did you find it helpful? Please tell us. Also, give us a thumbs up. That'll be good. And I've already told you to put a comment, so please do that. We look forward to seeing you soon.